Welcome to this demonstration video of Emphis Wire, a software used for drafting ball bonding and wedge bonding layouts as used in microelectronics and power electronics packages. The software is realized as a plugin for the powerful and affordable Rhino 3D CAD platform. With the user-friendly interface of Rhino, you manage to import your 2D or 3D geometry and prepare it for drafting your wire layouts within short time. Typical steps for preparation include organizing your geometry in layers, adding a sketch that marks the area in which you'd like to place your bond wires, and locking the imported objects for that you can concentrate on drafting your bond wire layout. After that, you start drafting your first bond wire. You want to have the bond positions placed accurately by snapping to the imported geometry or to the sketch indicating the bond area. Once you have created a bond wire, you can easily select one or several bond points and adjust the positions by moving a specified length in the desired direction. Many CAD commands that duplicate or modify the geometry of objects can be applied to wires. For example, the array command lets you create a row of bond wires just with a few clicks. The pitch of a row of bond points can easily be stretched using the scale command. This is shown in the example where the width of the bond pads on the diode and the RGBT chip are different. With most CAD systems you would be able to draw a bond wire when you are willing to invest some time. Typically you would achieve that by creating a curve with some lines and arcs and sweeping a circular cross section along the curve. But often in a wire layout, many wires have their individual geometry, and modeling the whole layout would be very time consuming. That's where Emphis Wire brings you a lot of benefit. Instead of spending days on a 3D representation of your bond wire layout, use Emphis Wire to do this within one or two hours. You can export your wires to standard CAD formats and import into your CAD system for documentation. Also, you can optimize the wire geometry for finite element simulation, for example to study bond wire heating or electromagnetic behavior. Just with a few clicks you change the cross-section of the wires from a circular shape to a polygonal shape, which makes meshing and solving in your finite element software much more efficient. Finally, you can study several variants of your layout within a single workday. This speeds up development and you will achieve a better performing product. Let's now see what's going on in the video. The layout is already drafted for one pair of IGBT and diode chips. It is now mirrored to the other pair of chips. The foot rotation of a gate bond wire needs adjustment. A user-friendly dialog lets you easily do that. A final gate bond wire is drawn from one copper pad to the other on the substrate. Again, it is easy to fine tune the bond positions. Until now, all wires have been created just using the standard settings for loop height and shape. This is now adjusted for a stitch bond wire. The height should be specified with reference to the destination bond of the wire, which is the bond on the substrate. The loop on the diode is reduced slightly in height and the shape of the loop is adjusted a bit more towards a symmetric appearance. The new loop settings are now copied to the other wires. Optionally, you might define the loop shape also before creating wires by editing a wire template. Finally, the layout is completed just within a few minutes. It is now ready to be exported for example in step format. Or you can use Rhino to create 2D documentation of your layout, including coordinates of bond positions. Also, great renderings can be produced using Rhino. To learn more about Emphis Wire, 
visit our website at mfis.ch slash wire. You will find there also other videos, the user manual and the download links for Rhino and Emphis Wire. Start using Emphis Wire now, save time modeling your bond wire layout and speed up the development of your product. Thanks for watching.